Hello everybody, Pokemon Trainer Rob here. Welcome to a uh, short video about Pokemon Stadium and the uh, Pokemon Stadium playthrough. Uh, as you guys know, I actually played through uh, all of the Prime Cup and all of Gym Leader Castle with my special Pokemon Blue Let's Play team. It was a lot of fun. I really just kind of enjoyed taking on the challenge that is uh, Pokemon Stadium. Uh, with that team, I definitely noticed a lot of strengths with my team, and I noticed a lot of weaknesses, too. I know I definitely didn't have the best team or the best move set up. You know, it was a team that I raised from scratch in a one playthrough. I tried using a few Pokemon that I'd never used before and a few Pokemon that really interested me. And as a result, I'm really happy with what I got. And, you know, they performed well. They beat all of the battles that they were in. They lost a few, but they redeemed themselves, and I made it through the challenge of uh, Prime Cup and Gym Leader Castle. Um, now you guys are probably wondering, what am I going to be doing about the other cups, because there's still the Petite, Pika, and Poke Cup. And uh, my team for blue won't exactly work for that, and as much as I have a lot of other Pokemon on my Pokemon blue file, I'm probably not going to be using them either. Uh, just because a lot of those Pokemon were raised kind of fast. Uh, they didn't have the most proper training, basically. A lot of them were just like, I don't know, going into really high-level Pokemon fights and just them getting the lion's share of experience. And I'm, I'm kind of one of those people that like watching a Pokemon grow from the very beginning and gain levels by itself and, you know, doing all the work itself. It's just something that's really important to me. It makes me feel like I'm actually raising that Pokemon and not just giving it cheap, free experience. And that's just the way I play the game. I enjoy playing the game that way. And I find it is a lot of fun, too. So uh, that's just normally what I do whenever I play uh, Pokemon games. I just more prefer to raise all the Pokemon myself. But the point being is I still need uh, some teams for my Petite, Poke, and Pika Cup teams. And, uh, well... I'm not necessarily going to poll you guys for who I'm going to use, but if you guys have any major suggestions for who to use, uh, feel free to let me know, because I'd love to hear what Pokemon you guys would want to see. Maybe there was a Pokemon you wanted to see in action that didn't really get shown, and you want to see it in battle form, so uh, just honestly let me know what kind of Pokemon you want me to see for uh, these other cups. and. Who knows, maybe I'll actually use them. I'm definitely open to suggestions uh, for that and also for move pools as well. Uh, so yeah, just definitely let me know what you guys think because I would be open to uh, taking suggestions for those teams. Uh, for those of you who don't really know what the requirements are for those teams, as far as uh, the Poke Cup goes, you have to use Pokemon in between level 50 and level 55. So, any Pokemon can be used in that cup from, uh, basically from Bulbasaur to Dragonite. I don't think Mewtwo can be used, and I don't think Mew can be used either. Um, but all the other Pokemon you can definitely use. Hell, I don't think Mew can be used, or Mewtwo can be used just for the fact that you get it at level 70, and, uh, the requirement's level 50, so I don't know if you can use a Mewtwo or not, if it is possible or not, I have no idea. But basically, any coat Pokemon is eligible for the Poke Cup, except for Mew. And uh, in terms of levels, uh, you have to do a weird thing with the levels so that whenever you go into a fight, the total combined level of all of your Pokemon does not exceed uh, 155. I think it's 155. It's either that or 165, or maybe even 160. I don't rem really remember off the top of my head, but basically that um, prevents you from using all level 55 Pokemon. So you have to kind of uh, plan it out and make sure that your levels don't exceed that maximum for one battle. And like if you do have one that's like at level 54 or something, uh, you can really only use that Pokemon in level... 50 Pokemon. You can't use anything greater than that, so just a little extra challenge, I guess. I guess it really doesn't matter. Just let me know what Pokemon you want to see, and uh, I'll adjust the levels accordingly. So don't worry about picking a level, so to speak. 
Uh, for the Petite Cup, it's actually levels 25 through 30. And uh, for the Petite Cup, you can only use primary level Pokemon. So, for example, you can use Charmander, Bulbasaur, and Squirtle, but you can't use any of their evolutions. And I believe that goes for every single Pokemon of, uh, basically, that Pika Cup requirement. So, uh, you have to use the basic primary level Pokemon. You can't use any evolutions. As for uh, Pokemon that... Um, have only have no evolutions and are just like you know one part of its own family i don't really remember what the requirement is for that but i think i think most of them are eligible i think don't quote me on that but uh either way i mean i'm probably going to end up using those uh single one stage pokemon for poke cup or probably even pika cup anyway so you know, don't worry about that too much. If you suggest one of those Pokemon, it might get used in Poke Cup, for example. So yeah, that's uh, all I really want to say about the uh, Petite Cup. Final Cup is the Pika Cup. This is the low-level cup. Levels are 15 to 20. And as far as Pokemon you can use, obviously Mewtwo and Mew can't be used. But any Pokemon can be used as long as they can fit in that level range. So, uh, for example, a Pokemon like Dragonite probably can't be used because you have to evolve Dragonair at level th uh, 55. And, uh, hell, even Dragonair probably... Well, no, you can, you can use Dragonair. It's at level 30, so... Oh, no, no, you can't. Look, 15 to 20, that's right. But, yeah, anyone who can get those levels to 15 to 20, they're usable, so... And I believe in it, even if you uh, if there's a Pokemon that's not in between that level range in red, blue, or yellow, you can actually use that Pokemon if it's from gold and silver and crystal. And actually, you know, if, it, if you can get it to level 15 to 20, you can actually bring that over and use that. So you're not even restricted to red, blue, and yellow games, although I would prefer that you would keep those requirements for just red, blue, and yellow. So... You know, if you can get like a level 20 uh, Gengar or something in Pokemon Gold and Silver and stuff like that, I'm probably not going to get it like that. So, if, you know, if there's not a way to get it in Red, Blue, and Yellow, then I'm not really going to count that as part of the requirements. So, uh, that's basically all I ask. Just make sure it's something I can obtain in Red, Blue, and Yellow. I'll have to restart probably one of my Red files or Yellow files. I'm definitely not going to restart my blue file because after doing the Let's Play and getting all 151 Pokemon, I do not want to erase that. That's just kind of a trophy to me now. And especially now that I complete a Let's Play, you know, I can always revisit that and kind of look over the journey of me collecting all 151 Pokemon. But yeah, that's really all I have to say, so definitely leave your suggestions below. Uh, I know YouTube comment space is limited, so... Hell, if any of you guys want to send me a private message of uh, teams uh, in very, very uh, accurate detail, uh, you can do that as well. So don't be afraid to send me a PM if you uh, don't want to just use the comment space. But I think that's really going to do it. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed uh, this Pokemon Stadium playthrough. Uh, letting you guys know it's not over. It's going to come back. But uh, when? That is actually a good question because... I don't really know when uh, this playthrough is going to come back. It might come back before uh, I actually, uh, well, see, the thing is, I'm actually going to be going back to Germany to see my girlfriend again, and, well, there's a possibility that I'm not going to have my 64 with me, which means I won't be able to uh, play this game, but if I can actually get a team ready before then, I might have a video or two just kind of showing off one of those cups, but, uh, Otherwise, it might not be till next year until I actually uh, get around to filming the majority of those videos. And I think I've also decided that I'm probably not going to cover round two. Uh, like I said before, round two is basically this game's hard mode. And, uh, you know, it's just everything we've already done, just harder. And I really don't want to do this whole game twice. It, perhaps it's something I could do for a stream or something. I, I might do it like that, but as for an actual playthrough, I think doing all of round one will suffice. I mean, I just think that would be a better idea for everybody. So, yeah, there's probably not going to be a round two playthrough. 
maybe a round two stream, but not a playthrough, so I uh, thought I would clear that up before uh, any of you guys ask me any questions about that. And uh, there are a few other extras that this game has to offer. I'll try to go over those probably at the end once I've finished all of the cups, so you might just have to wait for that. But uh, otherwise, I think I'm about done here, so I'm probably going to close things out. And uh, I'll see you guys whenever I get some teams ready and whenever I can film this again. Uh, because I will be in Germany again, I can definitely do a lot of team training over there, so it's not like, you know, I'm not going to be doing like just nothing while I'm over there for this project, but you know, I am going to be restricted with what consoles and games I have, so I'm probably not going to be able to actually film this particular one, but you can still help out and uh, help me get closer to actually filming this, so just let me know what you have for your suggestions, and I'd be happy to hear them. So, this has been Pokemon Trainer Rob. Thanks for joining me for Gym Leader Castle and the Prime Cup. A lot of fun. Sunnyside, Madam Puff, Fire Kitty, Swim Kirby, Mega Freak, and Helmarok. You guys are freaking awesome. You guys helped me once again. I became Pokemon Champion thanks to you guys again. You guys. You're the best Pokemon Blue Team Let's Play I've ever had. That sounds so weird saying that. Uh, anyway, uh, bye. Later, folks. <laughs>